2014, more than 29 million people had diabetes, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and diabetes has been linked to heart disease and stroke. A new study is revealing people with the disease may also have a higher risk of developing cancer either before or immediately after getting a diabetes diagnosis. Let's talk about that with oncologist Dr. Scott Ackerman back here on The Morning Show. Thank so you. what's the correlation between diabetes and cancer and why right after the diagnosis? Well, the correlation is, is pretty simple. That this, It's the same risk factors, the same lifestyle factors that increase your risk of diabetes have also been associated with increased risk of certain kinds of cancers, specifically colon cancer, most common, but other ones as well. And these risk factors include um, a high sugar diet, uh, sedentary lifestyle, uh, smoking, drinking, uh, obesity, um, eating lots of red meats. These have all been associated with a higher incidence of diabetes. They're also associated with a higher incidence of colon cancer. So uh, is one of, one of the impacts here the fact that once you get the diabetes diagnosis, there's extra screening, and the extra screening leads to the, di the cancer diagnosis? Well, it's really both. Um, the truth is that people with diabetes are, the study showed that they were 1.2 times more likely to be diagnosed with cancer in the 10 years preceding the diagnosis of diabetes. But also, after the diagnosis of diabetes, what you said is absolutely right. Once you're diagnosed with diabetes, you're then seeing a physician and you're getting tests done. You're getting a chest x-ray perhaps, you're getting blood work. And so you may have had the cancer before the diagnosis of diabetes, but it's, it, it's found uh, because you're being worked up for diabetes and other tests are being done. Now it's also found that you know if you exercise more, if you change what you eat, change your lifestyle a little bit, the impact of diabetes can be altered dramatically as well. So do we have to do some research to take a look at how those lifestyle changes affect cancer? Well, we already know that those same lifestyle changes can decrease your cancer incidence rate, can decrease your risk of getting cancer. So just like in diabetes, where you can make certain lifestyle changes if you're pre-diabetic or if you make certain lifestyle changes to decrease your risk of diabetes, uh, like exercising more, drinking less, smoke, not, not smoking, those same lifestyle changes can reduce your risk of cancer. So that's the relationship between the two. Do we also have to explore the biological link between diabetes and cancer? Well, that's a good question. Um, and I think that that, that, hasn't, that didn't come out in this study. And I think it's an excellent question. It, what predisposes one to get diabetes? There's plenty of obese people who smoke and drink that don't get diabetes. So, but, and there the are ones that do. So what predisposes someone to get diabetes if they, um, if they embrace those, those poor lifestyle uh, choices? Um, and maybe that same thing that predisposes them to diabetes will predispose them to cancer. And that's what researchers still need to look at. Dr. Scott Ackerman, always a pleasure. Thank you, Bruce. By the way, if you missed any of this interview, you can watch it on newsforjacks.com. It'll be posted under the video section on the morning show page by about 10.30, 11 o'clock this morning. Time check now is 8.15.